Listen, today we have an exciting video. Keep watching. Okay, so our starting kit, the mic, I think it's working. Our special T and of course the notes for the product that we are reviewing so we don't forget anything and the seeker product hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey my name is mom a pharmacist toxicologist and safety assessor in this channel we like to talk about skincare and the science behind it we have a very moderate view on skincare we don't have big yes or no's every opinion is acceptable here to discuss and provide data and evidence to see if this opinion is healthy for us or not today's video is going to be super fun and super exciting we are going to dive deep in the skin to see how some products work on the skin especially one product uh, backstory to see how i got this idea i was like playing with my phone i have a phone called uh, poco f2 pro I will put the picture here so if you are interested in that phone and I was uh, playing with the camera setting and I was noticing that there is a special feature it's called super macro which makes the phone able to focus super close on things like almost like a digital microscope in a way so I was thinking okay so I was playing with this feature and I was uh, uh, pointing onto my skin and I was like okay let me see my pores up close uh, and I was shocked to see that these uh, settings or this feature were able to capture the pores really clearly and really close so I was thinking okay I am um, discovered this new feature and I'm currently trying the ordinary peeling solution uh, AHA and salicylic acid it's not a BHA please stop calling it a BHA and uh, I was like okay let me see if there is true difference before and after using the product under this special feature in my smartphone camera and that's what I did so you are going to see in this video a close-up pictures of my pores like my disgusting pores sorry so before and after using this um, peeling solution I've been using it for like a few weeks now so it's not my first time but to make it more fair I waited like almost four days three days without uh, treating my nose area and my pores with like heavy treatment like salicylic acid or any kind of AHAs to see the, a true before and after so you are going to see my nose before treating with the peeling solution was uh, not treated with anything for three days and after the uh, treating with the peeling solution for 10 minutes before diving into the pictures and the maybe the disgusting part of the picture uh, let's analyze this product according to the most scale if you don't know the most scale please watch the video the last video that i did about the hyaluronic acid alternative i will i explain everything about the scale and how i scale the product but in short i scale the product uh, depending on the life uh, or real life performance and the scientific uh, data behind this product or behind the active ingredients in this product let's start analyzing this product we start with the scientific part the The, we are analyzing now the peeling solution as you already know it's from the ordinary it's about seven euros and it consists of uh, AHA's uh, 30 percent and BHA but it's not a BHA it's just salicylic acid because salicylic acid chemically speaking is not a BHA a uh, two percent and it was more targeted towards once or two time use because it's kind of a potent OTC product it's not something like the you can get from like a TCA uh, exfoliation treatment uh, with a dermatologist no it's very very mild compared to those kind of treatment and it's more focused to unclog your pores more to acne prone skin to help you have 
a deeper kind of uh, exfoliation treatment. So when we are scientifically analyzing a product, we look at the active ingredients and I group them into three groups, to be honest. First of all, we have the AHAs like citric acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid, tartaric acid, and all the acids that uh, fall under um, the umbrella of AHAs. AHAs mostly work on the top layer of the skin, it removes the dead skin layer and it removes very thin layer of dead skin. It will not remove every dead skin in your uh, in your skin surface because we we do need the skin the dead skin layer on our skin to play as a barrier so it removes the very dead skin maybe the accumulation of dead skin that are not naturally exfoliating due to age pollution or anything else and helps to um, reveal more youthful a newer kind of uh, skin layer to give this glow after using and those are uh, water soluble acids that mean they mo mainly focus on the surface of the skin the second part of the scientific ingredients are the uh, salicylic acid 2% salicylic acid 2% is the top concentration that is allowed in OTC product and cosmetic product of course cosmetic companies cannot go uh, above this because it will need a prescription that you will need also a pharmacy to get this kind of drugs but 2% is enough to give a very good result uh, to be honest from 0.5% for the sensitive uh, skin people it will give a good result so salicylic acid is an acid that is oil soluble more bigger than the AHA in the uh, as a molecule size but it is able to do it its uh, 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 characteristic as a molecule to go deep into the uh, pores and helps to exfoliate everything from inside out. Uh, it mainly works in pores because they are rich in oil and the salicylic acid as I said before it's uh, oil soluble so it works better in the pores so and to unclog the pores uh, remove or dissolve this uh, sebaceous filaments and blackheads. And the third group of helping ingredients, let's say, in this uh, uh, product is we have panthenol, vitamin B5. It's very uh, soothing, very um, repairing to the skin. It works as an emollient and make the skin more smooth after the application. The second ingredient in this helping group is aloe vera extract. Aloe vera extract, there is a, a tons of study about the uh, topical application of aloe vera uh, on the skin, how soothing and anti-inflammatory it is and helps to reduce the redness. And the third ingredient is uh, Tasmanian lanceolate fruit and root extract, which was shown in a few studies on uh, in vitro on cell lines that it has a very potent anti-inflammatory effect. So to help to soothe the skin if we have uh, this treatment on because it may for some people induce inflammation due to uh, the high concentration uh, for acid in it. Hey everyone, Editing More is here and I just made a little mistake. The st study was done on in vivo, in real human, done by the manufacturing company. So it's not really a reliable study. That's why I give it 4 out of 5. And the fourth ingredient of the helping group of ingredients is carrot uh, extract, which is like an orange uh, liquid material that is full of antioxidants and full of anti-inflammatory and anti-redness compounds that also help to soothe the skin after the application of this product. So after looking at the scientific evidence and data behind the active ingredients in this product, I would give this product four out of five beakers of most scales because it is very backed by science when it comes to the acids the ahas and salicylic acid but when it comes to the botanical uh, extract there is like uh, the studies are very not so good but the the existence of this kind of ingredients is not a bad thing but it's like uh, they w they put it there just in order maybe to help with the soothing and helping the uh, the skin not to have very negative side effect after the treatment mm -hmm. 
Now into the real life performance of this product. I can say easily that I was super uh, pleasant with the experience after using this product. And I, w I was going to say that this product gave a good result. Not something that you will get shocked by, but it gave a good decent result for the price, for the uh, what is it supposed to do as a from ingredient list and the experience was like I said I can I can say it was positive in experience and I saw some decent result as I will show you in the video the picture before and after in the super macro mode from my smartphone camera I will show you here some videos of the consistency of the product it's more like um, serum type of product it does not have a smell like a perfume or anything because it's fragrance free but it has some like um, a planet extract smell in a way because it it is rich with planet uh, plants extract uh, it, it's not a bad smell but it's something unique to be honest so how to use this product safely before showing you the before and after picture first of all you need to patch this it's i know it's an otc um what is it called like a cosmetic product that does not need a prescription but the company did state on the website please 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 before using this product because it's the highest strength that you can get in otc products so uh, try first of all to patch this patch testing is um, applying the product on a small part of your skin and waiting for 48 to 72 hours to make sure that your skin will not react badly with this product so the best place you can apply this product for the patch test is behind the ears because the skin here is closer to lymph node it's uh, uh, very thin so if anything bad is going to happen it will happen here first and the second part is in this area I don't know if you can see it here uh, you can try uh, keep it for the longest time which is 72 hours which is the most uh, preferable uh, amount of time so to make sure that nothing or no allergic reaction would happen or irritation so now how to use it exactly so clean your face with a very gentle cleanser that does not contain any active ingredients and that's why again i say i did a short video if you want to see it i will put the card here talking about why having two kind of cleanser one with very gentle the other was very has the active ingredients that can target a specific skin concern that you have so uh, using a very gentle cleanser with no actives i use the foaming cleanser from cerave it does not have any active other than niacinamide which is soothing for the skin uh, I did a very good cleansing for 30 seconds, dried my face really really well because as I said and I always uh, repeat this idea is wet skin can double up the amount of absorption and penetration to be honest. The correct word is penetration of this product into the skin and this product is kind of on the more irritating part of the uh, cosmetic product. So, Put it on a wet skin is going to make sure that uh, this is a recipe for irritation. So, so please dry your face very well. Apply the a very thin layers or a, a full dropper for the whole face and massage it to ha to like layer it up in a very even layer across your face and if you have very sensitive skin around your eyes around your nose around your mouth you can apply vaseline before applying the product so you do make sure this product won't it uh, transfer to this area and cause any irritation and after applying the product immediately hold down your smartphone or whatever and set a timer for 10 minutes don't do it above 10 minutes and if you noticed any pain or very uncomfortable feeling please wash it off immediately this kind of products does not have to cause any pain because pain does not mean the product is working or anything from this myth about skincare pain is the a reaction with the chemical and your skin and skin releasing pro-inflammatory a response that it say this is a bad for me please remove it so you you immediately wash it with the lukewarm water and apply your very light uh, moisturizer that may contain let's say centella asiatica that help to soothe the skin pantenol 
or uh, aloe vera gel so a uh, pain is not okay if you felt some kind of tingling here and there for a few uh, for the first few uh, minutes that's okay you can keep it but if it's pain or uncomfortable please please remove it as soon as possible after the 10 minutes wash the uh, the uh, the mask uh, the, the peeling solution with the lukewarm water wash it very uh, good because sometimes you could leave it on your hairline or on the side of your beard or in the close to your uh, ear uh, corner so this will lead to more irritation because it will stay for longer so make sure you wash everything well dry uh, your skin by patting on the skin not uh, like uh, swiping your skin away because it's uh, freshly exfoliated so we don't need any extra irritation for the skin so just pat it out and then you can apply your very light moisturizer I use the CeraVe hydrating lotion it's very light and no active for today so please listen to this no active for today because your skin is very uh, vulnerable right now because we uh, dissolve the top layer of the skin and the barrier may be a little bit compromised so just your regular moisturizer without any active no retinol no more acids no more uh, vitamin c or whatever just your regular uh, plain moisturizer and the last advice that i would give you the next day make sure that your exposure to sun is limited at as much as possible because it contains glycolic acid glycolic acid is one of the AHAs that is known to increase our skin to the uh, UV sensitivity because it works on making the skin more susceptible to UV damage and that is not okay so if you are or if you have to uh, expose yourself to the sun the next day make sure you wear, you wear your SPF and reapply it every two hours because like I said your skin will be uh, uh, vulnerable for the uh, next few days so be gentle with it so now I will show you the picture here before and after and the areas that I took picture of is the tip of my nose the corner of my uh, nose in this area the area here in the lower cheek and the uh, forehead where I have also very prominent pores you can see the before and after hey everyone editing mo is here i'm just giving you a warning because you are now going to see some very clogged pores or if you are squeamish leave so here is the tip of my nose uh, not being treated for three days here are my cheeks you can see some clogged pores and hairs and here is my forehead also some clogged pores and some hairs and here are the corner of my nose with very clogged pores so here after the treatment you can see the pores are a little bit clearer less congested less sebum less uh, sebaceous filaments and here the corner of my nose which m was much improved and you can see less sebaceous filament and my forehead also less congested less uh, sebum and less uh, sebaceous filament and the uh, score that i would give it for the um this product on real life performance is four out of five again happy most faces because uh, there is like another something that people might call me picky for but i don't know why it's something very common in the ordinary products that it it's uh, you need to know how much you put because if you put too much especially with this product you will face irritation and other than irritation it will foam up and foaming up is not a very nice experience when you want to put um, what is it called like a mask uh, treatment because it can drip in your beard or drip down your face and that can cause a lot of problem so put uh, a full dropper and that's it maybe less than a full dropper and layer it as a, a uniform uh, equal layer on your skin and don't rub it in just like uh, a light swipes on the skin so and make sure of course your face is dry for uh, preventing increased irritation chances and prevent the foaming up so today this was my video i hope you guys like it uh, please don't forget to share subscribe and uh, uh, comment on the channel i read all the comments i'm starting to feel that uh, i'm starting to have in a way a small community that i'm happy to talk with 
uh, they ask me all the questions, they push me to learn more. Sometimes uh, people ask me on the comments something that I've never heard for. So I go uh, for my laptop and research it and learn a lot and answer their question. And this is uh, very helpful for us as a small community that care about skincare in very moderate, non-extreme way. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, please again share it with your friends and uh, please support this channel it means a lot for me and you know why this channel means a lot for me please watch the video i need your help on my channel i'll put the card here because it really um, is going to help me in my academic path as well as having this uh, small channel because it will help me support my cv when applying for a lot of internship for my master's degree if you want to know the full story please go watch that video and please don't forget to put on your max masks and get vaccinated and stay safe because the fourth wave of the coronavirus is starting and uh, we have to do our part as a human to protect the other by protecting ourselves so see you in the next video and again please stay safe bye